Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, today we are going to be taking on the newest Super Battle stage on Global, which is Stage 52 with Joined Forces. Now, as far as the team goes, I kind of just threw together a bunch of units that I really like. I'm not too sure exactly how well it's going to perform here, but um, it should be at least good enough to clear the stage, so... I'm not too concerned. And uh, as you guys can see, we got the double LR Blue Boys as our leaders, the uh, STR LR Vegito, the Tech LR Gogeta, the newly Extreme Z Awakened LR Android 17 and 18, LR Tapion and Minosha, and also the Tech 17 and 18. And uh, without further ado, let's jump right into it and see how this goes. Okay, so unfortunately, it looks like the Androids are not on the same rotation, which kind of sucks. And I'm not too sure how well these guys actually link with each other. It looks like not, oh, actually, hold on. These link well, okay, there we go, that works. And uh, let's pop an Icarus to start, even though these guys are relatively tanky. Yeah, over 100,000 defense for all three of them. And let's go for, uh, I guess we'll just go for, Demon King Piccolo first with the Vegito. Uh, same thing with the Gogeta. And then same thing with the Tapion and Minosha. Since we don't have any type of advantage here, it doesn't really matter. Uh, let's see. Okay, so 99 damage. 58. Pretty solid. Pretty solid. And just under 5 mil for the attack stat. Now, <laughs> I feel like we've been really spoiled by the 5th uh, anniversary LRs, like, after seeing what the LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta and the LR Super Saiyan God Goku and Vegeta can do, like, literally on turn 1, um, a lot of these units, a lot of these LRs that, you know, felt very, very powerful before, just seem kind of mediocre um, at this point, you know, like, and they're not, right? Like, STR Vegito is still amazing. Um, Tech Gogeta is still amazing. Tapion Minosha, I was gonna say they're very good defensively, but <laughs> that was a little bit rough. But still, they're very good defensively. Um, but just compared to the power creep we experienced with the 7th anniversary, yeah, these guys don't seem that impressive anymore, which is kind of sad. Okay, anyways, um, the uh, links are very rough. On this rotation. Um, obviously I want to maybe save some tech orbs for the androids so let's give these to my blue boys. That's gonna be ooh, a solid four uh, tech orbs for the androids and back to the kid Goku that's gonna be uh, 18 key super. I'll take that. Okay so so far not bad. So far ooh. 45k with an Icarus active. If that was a super, that would have hurt a lot. Luckily, it wasn't a super. We did get lucky there. A couple of additionals, a crit. Maybe a super would be nice. Okay, no super, but he's dead. He is dead. Perfect. And uh, Android's getting just over 3 mil, of course. I want to eventually get them together with the uh, EZA LR, but it could take a couple of turns because our rotations are kind of whack right now. Although we do have the Gogeta Vegito rotation, which is exactly what I wanted. So yeah, here we're definitely going to put the uh, androids at the end. I'm going to pop a Whis and... Only 78,000 defense for the androids, but obviously it will get a lot more defense on their super attack. So uh, let's go for Trunks here. And then I'll go to Vegeta with the Gogeta. And then, oh nice, we can get an 18 key super with the LR androids. <sighs> so yeah, speaking of, obviously most of you guys watching are gonna be global players. And speaking of the anniversary, I keep getting this question, right? Like, when is the anniversary coming? And I understand, you know, people are excited. People see what's happening on JP and they want to, 
be able to experience it for themselves as quickly as possible. But the anniversary doesn't move from year to year, you know, it's always the same time every single year, so essentially early July, like first week of July is when the anniversary will be starting on Global. The, the countdown will start, you know, before that, um, and we'll have like some missions and stuff like that to like get us hyped, but as far as when the actual anniversary begins and when the uh, to all Double Confess banners come out, it's gonna be first week of July. I think last year it was July 9th? I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I, th I think it was yeah, July 8th, July 9th, something like that. They have the stream like the day before. So, you know, like five months to go. Less than five months, actually. Under five months. Um, so we don't have to wait too long. I know it feels like a long time. Let me focus on the event for a second. Uh, I'm concerned about Vegeta. I'm concerned about Vegeta potentially supering us. That would be very rough. So I guess maybe we can put the androids there, but they can't get a super there, which also sucks. And I don't want to put the blue boys because we have two trunks attacks in the first slot. So I think to be safe, I'm a pop princess snake first. Just in case the Vegeta decides to super us, we won't die from that super. And... Oh. Yeah, I probably messed up there, because I thought we were going to get at least two tech orbs, but obviously that did not work out. But it's okay. It's okay. We'll get the androids together by the next fight. And that's going to be the hardest one anyways, so... Um, yeah, we'll be fine. We will be fine, I think. Okay, so Trunks is still alive. Alright. That's not ideal, considering we do have the Fizz Blue Boys at the end. And Trunks could still super us there. Which would really suck. I mean, we have the double damage reduction, though, so, like, I'm not very worried about it. Okay, we're fine. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, there is there is nothing to be worried about. Okay, so this turn, we have absolutely no damage reduction, but I don't want to have to use another item. So I'm just going to assume that we kill these guys before they have a chance to super us. And I think that's a pretty safe assumption. I mean, these guys are pretty close to dead. If we get an additional super here, for sure. Okay, not there. We should kill Vegeta, though, with the super. Even with the type disadvantage. We should do enough damage. Kill him. He's dead. Okay, and then the blue boys will finish off the trunks. And there you go, guys. Alright, so there was a second where I was like, yo, did I make a mistake? Did I mess up? But, we did not. Alright, so the last boss here, it looks like, is Frost. Oh, whoa, okay, never mind. <laughs> I forgot, it's not Extreme Super Battle Road, where, like, usually you're only facing one boss. This is regular Super Battle Road, so usually there are multiple enemies for every stage. So, I'm a Papa Whis immediately. And, yo, luckily we got the androids together, so that's gonna be a sick rotation. Um, we are gonna hurt... Khalifla really really bad there and then oh no STR enemy okay so let's um why not keep going for Khalifla try to kill her as quickly as possible and then we'll switch back to or switch over to Kale or the uh, Tapion Emanosha I didn't check the defense but with 10 orbs and a lot of tech orbs I'm assuming that the androids probably have somewhere around like 400 at least 350k defense, over 5 mil attack gear. This is under 150% leads, by the way, since there isn't a 170% lead for uh, joint forces at the moment, which is unfortunate. We should have a 170% joint forces lead. Hopefully one day. I'm, I'm sure one day it, it will happen, but not right now. So, yeah, under 150% leads, they're doing some great damage. Uh, the AGL androids... Um, did not have quite as much attack as 
I was expecting, but I think that's because we were fighting Frost, who was extreme, so we didn't get the additional attack boost, so that makes sense, actually. Okay, um, we still active, so no concern there. Uh, let's go for... Hmm... Actually, yeah, let's put Vegito in the first slot. We're going to go for Hail. That's going to be a 24 key super. And then uh, we can probably finish her off with that right there. And uh, we'll finish off Frost with the blue boys. There's a super. I think we'll be fine. Mm-hmm. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> yeah, I was saying before in my stream the other day, um, at this point, regular Super Battle Road doesn't seem that daunting anymore. You know, it does not seem that hard anymore. Like, I remember when Super Battle Road first came out, and this was just like the monotype ones, right? Yeah, I remember how hard they were, man. I remember dying over and over again to the original Super Battle Road stages. And then category SPR came out and we were like, yo, like we were already struggling with regular Super Battle Road. Now we're going to give us category stages that are even harder. Um, but yeah, I mean, we've come a long way since then. And our obviously the power creep has been significant over the past couple of years. So any regular Super Battle Road stage that comes out these days is not really concerning. Like I don't really have to worry about like ever dying um at any point like it's always like a you know one take kind of deal when it comes to extreme super battle road there are still times where i have to do maybe you know one or two extra takes because i get hit by two or three supers and they hit like two to 300k each but that's never the case for regular super battle road anymore it's kind of just like a formality to do these videos <laughs> and uh there you go all done Kappa's dead, and that does it for stage 52, joined forces. Let me know in the comments down below how you guys did with it. Uh, did you find it more challenging than the you know previous stages that we just got, like the Planet Namek Saga one, or did you find it to be, you know, pretty chill? And uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. Stage 52 out of the way. I'm still not a big fan of you know having one stage at a time because it's much more fun to just have like 10 new stages to take on but it is what it is at the very least now we're getting you know new stages more regularly so i guess that's a good thing and uh as always if you guys liked today's video then make sure to like the damn video sub to the channel if you're new hit that notification bell so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and until next time have an awesome awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.